Hey guys, it's Holly. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Today I am doing a two month update on my experience with Invisalign. I did a video back when I first got Invisalign where I shared why I got it in the first place and what it was going to do to fix my teeth, fix some aligning in my mouth. If you wanna go and check out that video later, I will put the link for it in the description box below. But today I am sharing with you my two month update. I am also gonna be sharing with you some pros and cons to having Invisalign because ever since I got it, I have learned that there is a lot of negative things that come with it as well as positives. These things that I wish I would have known before I got started with it, I wanna share with you. I'm hoping this video might be helpful to people out there who are thinking about getting it to understand a little bit more about what to expect and see if it is a right fit for you. All right, let's start off and talk about the cons. Let's talk about all the negative things when it comes to Invisalign. The very first thing that I have a hard time with is the fact that when it is in my mouth, I cannot eat anything or drink anything except for water. And you might think, well, what's the big deal? You take it out when you eat, you put it back in, right? Easier said than done. I thought it was gonna be that easy, but it is a lot more work than I ever anticipated. Every time I wanna have just a snack or a cup of coffee, I have to go through the whole process. Obviously there's taking it out and that's not that big of a deal now. But when I first got it, I found that it was really difficult to take out. In the beginning, I was struggling and I was actually in tears thinking, is this what I'm gonna deal with every time I wanna eat or drink something? Over the course of the first week of having it, I figured out the best way of getting them out and now getting them out is not that big of a deal. But when I put them back in, I have to clean my teeth. I need to make sure I am not putting them back in with food or beverage stains sitting on top of my teeth. So when I have my cup of coffee in the morning, I need to then go brush my teeth, get my teeth all clean, and then pop them back in. And I do the same thing pretty much for every meal or every time I'm going to have a beverage besides water. It gets to become pretty tiresome. I would think this would be very difficult for people who are out and about all day, out in the working world, you know, working in an office, a factory, wherever. And when they have to then put them back in and go through the whole cycle of cleaning their teeth, that I think would would be very difficult. Now for me personally, it shouldn't be that hard of a thing because I am somebody who is home a lot. I am a stay-at-home mom and I homeschool my kids. So I am home majority of the time. So it is easier for me to get to a bathroom, get a toothbrush out, brush my teeth, get my teeth real clean before I pop them back in. But for somebody who is out and about all day, people who go to a job every day, you know, an office, a school, factory, whatever, I would think it'd be really difficult to clean your teeth after every meal or snack or drink you have. That is something to consider. Now, the orthodontist said I did not have to necessarily brush before I put them on all the time. They said if you don't have access to a toothbrush, you can also just get some water, swish it around in your mouth and spit that out and then put them back in. But honestly, I feel like that has not been enough. Anytime I've eaten anything, I always feel like I need to have clean teeth before I stick them back in. And one of the reasons is the type of Invisalign I got, I shared this in my first video, they attached all these little buttons to my teeth and it's kind of like having clear braces. Food sticks to these things like crazy. So I am definitely brushing my teeth before I'm putting these trays back on because I've got all kinds of stuff stuck to them. That has been one of the biggest things I have been trying to get used to with having these in. When I'm home, it's really not that big of a deal, but the times when we are out doing stuff. We went to a Colorado Rockies baseball game a month ago, and when you go to a, a ball game or you know some sort of an event, it is all about the fun food and beverages. And it was hard having the Invisalign trays because I wanted to just snack and enjoy my time there and not worry about the fact that I had kept them out for so long. Now I'm gonna get to the time frame in a minute of how long I'm supposed to keep them in in a 24 hour period, but it is a big challenge 
for me at least, to have the Invisalign when it comes to just wanting to be able to have the freedom to eat and drink at a party or when you're socializing with friends. That is something that you really need to keep in mind. If you have traditional braces, you don't have to worry about the eating and drinking part of it. You don't have to worry about taking something out and then doing the whole process of putting them back in. That is something you might wanna consider if you are big into the social scene and you don't want to have to worry about dealing with these Invisalign trays. Now, as far as that whole time frame that I just mentioned, what my orthodontist told me when I first got them, how long you need to keep them in within a 24 hour period, they would like me to have them in 22 to 20 hours and no less than 20 hours. I was actually told by my orthodontist that if I had them in less than 20 hours one day, then I would have to add another day to wearing them. I thought I do not want to go under that 20 hours because if I do, I'm going to be wearing them longer. So like I was saying, if you're going to an event and you want the freedom to have snacks and drinks, then you're going to want to just keep them out, keep them out for that time period. But you have to keep an eye on how long they're out. And that also becomes a big burden when it comes to having the Invisalign is you are always watching the clock. I know when I have my cup of coffee in the morning, sometimes I like to just sit there and enjoy it and not feel rushed. Well, with the Invisalign, I kind of am feeling like I am rushed because I don't wanna have them out too long. So usually I will have my cup of coffee, then go brush my teeth, put the Invisalign back in, and then I'm done. Now it's been fine in the summertime because typically I would only drink one cup in the morning and then I was done for the day. I really didn't need any more coffee later in the morning, but in the cooler months that we're going into now, I really enjoy that second cup of coffee, like mid morning or even a hot cup of tea. And that again is gonna become another hassle where I need to take them out and then clean my teeth again and then put them back in. And then also keep an eye on the clock to see how long I've had them out. So definitely that part has been the biggest challenge for me personally, just with the amount of time that they're out, keeping track of it, and then of course, brushing the teeth or rinsing out my mouth constantly before I put them back in. All right, now for another negative part when it comes to having Invisalign. And that is the fact, it is really hard to talk with them in my mouth. I'm not wearing them right now because I find that when I am wearing them, I tend to slur my words more. When I do any of my voiceovers, I can't even wear them. Sometimes I could do okay just taking the top one out, but it has been a struggle. When they are in my mouth and I'm trying to talk to people, this is me with them in. Now maybe you can't even tell the difference, but for some reason, I find that I'm slurring my words, I am talking funny when they're in my mouth. I definitely don't feel like me when I'm wearing them. So that has been a struggle as well. Can you tell the difference? Can you even see the difference is what I wonder. Let me take them out right now and you tell me if you can see a difference in the way I talk. Here's me wearing them and here is me not wearing them. So just wearing them alone has been quite a challenge. I definitely put this in the con because there is quite a separation in the back of your mouth. So it does change the way that I sound when I talk. They also have a little bit of a weird taste to them. You know, they're made of several different types of plastic. That is something that is just hard to get used to. I don't always like having them in. Obviously they're gonna be uncomfortable. They're braces, they're putting pressure on your teeth. That's gonna be a negative part of it as well. Now let me get into all the pros. First positive, it is a given they are fixing my teeth. They are there to do their job and hopefully I will see the results someday when I'm done wearing them. I gotta give it that. It is something that is doing a job that is going to be a positive thing that is gonna happen over time. I will go ahead and throw that out first. We all know that this is being helpful and I have to point that out. Okay, another positive part of it is that compared to traditional braces, I can take them out. 
You know, if I had traditional braces, I would be stuck with them. I could take them out if I feel like flossing my teeth normally. And even though I have the buttons on all the teeth, it's not as noticeable. If I want to take them out, if we're going to do like a family picture or something, I have that freedom to still take them out. I'll go ahead and say that that is a good part about having them. And compared to traditional braces, they are not as noticeable. Now, of course, I think I talk a little funny wearing them. In fact, I even think I I look funny wearing them. But every friend and acquaintance I have come into contact with in the last two months, I am quick to tell them that I just got Invisalign and that is why I'm talking funny. Their response is always, really? I didn't even notice. Everyone has said they have not even noticed. That's the idea, right? That it's invisible and that compared to traditional braces or even clear braces, I mean, I don't know how invisible clear braces are. It is something that is not going to be as noticeable. That is really why I went with this. I didn't want it to be something that people noticed. Definitely that is a positive part of it. And I had to point that out. And then in conclusion to my pros, positive thing I want to say about getting Invisalign this goes back to the whole negative thing as far as not being able to eat or drink anything except water. It is actually a really great way to diet. It is a great way to not snack during the day and to drink a lot of water. Because isn't that like a great diet plan? You eat your three meals a day and, you know, occasionally a snack. You're not just grazing all day. You're not just constantly eating, constantly drinking anything except water. I'm always reminded that I need to drink more water and this has been a great way for me to just kind of fill the hunger in between meals. Sometimes I am thinking I am so hungry, but I don't want to deal with pulling out the Invisalign and putting them back in. So I'm like, eh, I'll just drink water. And in the end, that's probably the best thing to do, right? As funny as it is, the biggest negative that I was sharing to you when it came to Invisalign is actually the biggest positive. Now, I'm not saying it's the best diet plan or whatever, but it's kind of fun to think about it that way. And hopefully it might get me into even a good routine of this when I am done wearing them. And with that, brushing my teeth more. That is never a bad thing, right? Now I have heard that you could brush your teeth too much, but I'm only brushing it with toothpaste three times a day. The other times that I'm brushing it, I'm usually just taking a toothbrush to it with just some water. So I'm not overdoing it at all with the teeth brushing. There you go. There is my final pro that I wanted to share today. And as far as my update goes, I guess pretty good. I have seen a slight movement in a few of the teeth, but nothing where I've actually seen the results I'm looking for. But it's only been two months, so really what was I expecting? I hope this video is helpful. I hope that it gave you a little bit more understanding of what to expect if you are thinking about getting Invisalign and really helping you understand that just because it might seem nicer than traditional braces, it still comes with some problems and it's not perfect. I definitely see why a lot of kids do not do Invisalign and parents just stick with their traditional braces. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions with what's it like to have Invisalign, please put them in the comments below. I'm definitely gonna be doing another update several months from now and just letting you know what the progress has been and maybe some more pros and cons that I think of down the road. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and may you have a wonderful day.